Hey guys, it's Hashtag Nancy and I'm back here for episode 2 of Low 72 Ratings of Casuals and today we're going to do the Ancient Dragon Ancient Dragon of Destruction by Quest of Side 1 to 3 so let's go to the gear I, you need either, well you don't need but either Interfacer is best uh, an Fire 1 and a Shock 1 or Double, pen double Penetrating Unkempt Howard Fibber would speed this up uh, but I'm gonna, because this is for casuals I'm not going to use Fibber at all and then a ruby or grog nozzle just to show that you can use both i'm going to use both whenever i have the interface rot so much damage is doing i'm going to use a ruby just because you don't need a grog nozzle and i'm just going to use uncount hold with grog nozzle shield is irrelevant best would be rough rider so i'm going to put that on now um any really slagging grenade would be okay chaotic evil monk everyone has one fire damage and as i'm using you would do the shock damage if you had a shock interfacer, but as I'm using I'm getting towered, I may switch to this depending on um, where my life's at when going into it. Spec is exactly the same, nothing is touched, bar is still off, let me just redeem this token. Spec is exactly the same, hasn't been touched at all. So yeah, let's get into the kill. So yeah, as soon as you summon them, I like to make my way over here. And the first one I bring down, I bring down with a howl just because it has the potential to be set on fire and then it'll be weak, uh, risen to fire. I bring down Helians first. And as soon as you're sure a bullet has hit, you activate the defense shrine mainly because you ain't gonna be using too much of a health boost against these guys. And luckily for me, Brood has come down here so I can destroy his little minions. Wanted Heliance, but Brood is fine. And now I'm gonna kill Brood, just guns up. See, look how much damage this Chaotic Evil Monk class monk can do to him. It's all in the monk and the money shots, really. So now I would like Heliance to come down, please. And just shoot these guys with a little health, a little bit of health. I see I got a bunch of money shots there and killed quite a few of them. Quite removed quite a bit of his health. My main focus is gonna be Helios now just because he's so close to death. I really don't want him to fly off. So now that he's dead, I'm gonna call down a uh, boost. Then because it's better fighting an overleveled oh one over level of incinerator then fighting incinerator while being slagged by boost in the air. So try call down incinerator maybe or boost whichever one comes. I can just shoot boost while in the air. I'll switch to this and because my house is quite up I'll just switch to sheriff's badge. As soon as he pops out of his little hull here Right now he's invincible, you cannot touch him. But as soon as he comes out of it, you can do damage to him. I can see with Uncle Tarder does just as much damage. Now you can call Boost an idiot because he's leveling up nobody here, not even himself. I just go to town on his face. So yeah, um, these guys are really good for if you are wanting to get some iridium because they drop a lot of iridium at only 20 cost. It's a one time 20 cost and that's it. And you see I got a bunch of um, money shots there. But it costs you 20 iridium to get in. If you got that, it gives you like 60 iridium out of it, and then you can just save and quit instead of. <coughs> Sorry for coughing, but you can just save and quit instead of leaving the area and paying the extra money. So now, if I just pick up all this iridium, they do got some good shields if you are like in true vault hunter mode, maybe. But as you can see, I'm getting all of my iridium back, even though I started with like. 
I started already with like 20 less than the maximum. Now I'm at 500 already. This is the probably the best thing they drop besides the blockade. Blockade is not too good, but it's mainly good for um, aesthetics. Because it just looks like fireworks, really. You can get money shots on it. Yeah, keep firing and get the shots quite fast. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Little Century Raiding, please leave a like, comment, and you can subscribe if you want to support the channel or just keep your legacy going. Although this is not a Little Century 2, um, although this, although this is not a Green Century 2, like so as you can see, there's a big difference. But although this is not a Green Century 2, let's play for. Yoti, still a lot of well, Borderlands 2. I got from you. I don't want to go into this. I, I went into it before on my first episode of um, Crew Century. So, yeah, peace. This is Nosey signing out.